My name is Beatrice Montevaro. I'm an artist and musician based out of Miami. Um, my work has to do with uh, science fiction or um, themed parks like Disney World uh, attractions um, and music scenes, uh, underground music scenes, uh, including uh, London, LA, and uh, Miami. Um, I play drums um, in the band Holly Hunt. Uh, and Savic now, which uh, is a Star Trek character as well. Um, and I'm doing this workshop with uh, Emma Trellis for Oh Miami, having to do with Star Trek and poetry. My name is Emma Treyes. I'm the daughter of Cuban immigrants and I'm the author of Tropicalia, uh, a book I wrote and was published by the University of Notre Dame Press. It's all set in Miami, which is where I was born and raised. And I am teaching a wonderful sci-fi Star Trek inspired poetry workshop at Oh Miami Poetry Festival. Uh, the poems that our participants will be writing uh, will be inspired by the super vivid, uh, all heart illustrations of Beatriz Montiavaro, a fellow Miamian and a fellow Cuban. I have just been appointed the uh, Poet Laureate of the city of Santa Barbara, which is where I now live. So I'm really excited about that and also to be connecting with my Miami roots for the festival. I studied at FIU. I received my MFA in creative writing with a concentration in poetry. And uh, I studied with Campbell McGrath and some of my classmates were Richard Blanco, uh, Alexandra Litton Regalado, and just a bunch of other really talented people. This poem I'm about to read for you uh, is not directly tied to Star Trek, but it is aligned with the idea that uh, we are connected to the constellations and how important they are in my life and in so many of our lives. And this is called Night of Telescopes. I have buried my share and hardly anyone knows a house must hold ghosts, writing names across funereal woods and windows good for viewing the lingering past. This night of telescopes fixes the cold October sky, a Saturn so delicate as if sketched by moths holding to nearby stones for their lives. The sutures of the moon drift into sharpness, and a man points to the inevitable screen, another haunt in this dim garden where voices ride across pines and the invisible fountain locked in the same little song. Here is the sea of crisis, and I would recognize its expanse anywhere having visited often, even beneath my lids, when I disappear at night to visit with a father who no longer knows me, or the dead who always do, and glow like the rain, or a rose finished with the business of becoming. I can't say the worst because I'll keep living it. Machine of the mind, belt, of the hunter. I can spot his patient blade from either coast, the one where I drown, the one where I love, the one where I keep rowing through the blaze and the black. <laughs> 